So the second question is, if the profit earned by company M in the year 2008 was rupees 3.63 lakhs, what was the amount of profit earned by it in the year 2006? So this question is a reverse working because after the increase, 2008's profit is given 3.63 lakhs. So we are asked to find the initial value in 2006, two years back, what was the profit that has to be found. So we will see the working. So here we have the working slide. So we are asked to find for 2008, uh, 2008 profit is given 3.63. So we are asked to find for 2006. So now what will be the working? So suppose we will take XX uh, 2006 profit. So in this 25% increase for 2007. So increase means we will add it with 100. So 125 by 100. And in 2008 it is 20% increase. So we will add with 100 into 20. So this is equal to 3.63. And now to find the initial value. So what will be the working? It is x equal to 3.63. And taking all these factors reciprocal to the other side, that is 100 by 125 into 100 by 120. So which will give you the profit in 2006. So now the, all this takes time. So instead of doing all this, so we can easily work out with 100 itself. So as percentage is given, so assume that the initial value is 100 and we can easily find out the value. So we will see how to find the answer instead of doing all this working. So assume that in 2006 the profit was 100. Now what will be the profit for 2007? So it is after 25% increase. That is increased by 25%. Now what will be 25% increase of 100? So it will be 125. So if we take for 2600, in 2007 profit will be 125. Now for 2008, there is 20% increase. So we have to find 20% of 125 and then add it with 125. So what is 10%? 12.5. 20% will be 25. So add this 25. So profit for year 2008 will be 150. So if we take as 100 in 2006, after this two increases, 25% and 20%, we will get for 2008 150. But what is the actual value given? It is 3.63 in 2008. So now if the increase after 25 and 20 is 3.63, so what will be the initial value? So now direct proportion, direct variation. So cross products will be same. So multiplying and dividing with 150, so we will get the profit earned by the company M in the year 2006. So multiplying with 100 and dividing with 150, so we get the value with 3.63, we get the value. So, two times. so 1.21 into 2, which is equal to 2.42 lakhs. So profit in the year 2006 was 2.42 lakhs. After the increase of 25% in 2007, and increase of 20% in 2008, so we have got as, it is given as 3.63. So answer is 2.42 lakhs is a profit earned in the year 2006 and it is option C. So we will see the next question. So question number 3. What is the average percent rise in profit of company L over all the years together? So here, Average percent rise is asked. So as the data is itself increase in profit percent over the years, so when average percent rise is asked, just add all the data and divide by number of years. So we will see the working. 
So we have the working slide before us. Now what is the average percent rise for company L? So all the details have been highlighted. So just add all the data and divide by. So how many years detail we have? Six years detail. So uh, divide with six. So we get the average percent rise for company L. So we will do the working. So adding all the data. So it is 20 plus 15. 25, 30, 35 and 30. So adding all here, so 35, 70, 130, 25. So it is 155. So percent rise, total is 155. And average will be, divide this by number of years. So we have 6 years. So what will be the average percent rise uh, Average percent rise. So divide 155 by 6. So 150 by 6 is 25 5 by 6 percent. So average percent rise in profit is as. So as we have the detail, rise in profit itself, add all the data. So it is 155. Divide by the number of years. So number of years is 6. Number of terms 6. So dividing by 6, it is 25 5 by 6. And answer is option B. So average percent rise for company L over all the years is 25 by 6 percent option B. We will see the next question.